Hi guys, so I wanted to make a video here to show you how to do question 72. It's pretty tough, and so I um, just wanted to make sure that everybody understands how this works and that you don't think I'm assigning difficult questions and leaving you hanging. Okay, so uh, let's look at this together and just analyze what it's asking. It says a grocery store, they want to double the area of its parking lot by expanding the lot as shown, in other words, adding something here and something here, okay? And then it says, by what distance X should the lot be expanded? So there's several problems here. Uh, we first have to find the area of the parking lot, then figure out what double of that area is, and then figure out what should I do to X to achieve that double the area, okay? So uh, let's start working on this. It takes a bit of doing. So let's say what's the um, let's look at what's the original area of the parking lot, so we can figure out what double the area means. So let's figure out what's the parking lot's area, and then what double it means. Okay. So there's a few ways you can do this. I like the idea of just breaking the parking lot here into two pieces. So we do something like this. And we form a new rectangle here. Uh, let's make it red. And then we form a different rectangle here. And let's say that one is blue. Okay. And if we take those two pieces and add them together, we get the current area of the parking lot. Now, notice uh, this distance is 75. And this distance is actually the 300 over here. Okay, so we have 300 feet there and 75 feet. And then the question is, I know that clearly uh, this distance is 75 feet, but how long is that? That's the question. So that is this little piece here, right here, plus this little piece. So the first piece here is 165, and the other piece is 75. 165 from here, 75 from here, okay? And so all we have to do is say that if I add those two up, what's the distance? And I think if you do that, you get 240, okay? So 240 is that distance. And so we can calculate the current area of the parking lot so let's call that the original area of the lot by adding up two things. So we take the blue rectangle and say that that's 300 by 75. So 300 times 75 because the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So I take the length times width, 300 times 75. And then to that, I want to add the red area. So what's the red area? 75 by 240. Okay. And if we do that, we get an answer for the original parking lots area. Uh, let me do that in a different color green. So we get 300 times 75 which is 22500 22500 75 times 240 and that's 18000 okay so that tells me that the original area of the lot is 22500 plus 1800 which is 40500 uh, feet squared, squared feet. All right, and so that's the original area of the parking lot. So to get double that, uh, we say double the area of the lot. Well, that would just be two times forty thousand five hundred, doubling it which turns out to be 91,000 square feet, okay? Uh, sorry, not 91,000 square feet. 
81,000 square feet, 81,000 square feet. So that's double the area of the lot. And then I have to make some adjustments uh, by adding X amount of feet here and X amount of feet here. So let me erase what we did originally. I need to add X amount of feet here as well. Okay, to achieve this new uh, double of doubling the area of the parking lot. So to do that, uh, we can still consider two separate little rectangles, and then say that if I calculate the uh, area of those two separate rectangles together, they must equal to double the original area. All right. So let's do that. Let's say. I'm going to break this into two rectangles again. And so I'll just do this again. Here's my rectangle, but let's... It's the bigger one now. Okay, and let me use a different color here again. I don't know. Let's go purple or something. And here would be my other rectangle. Okay. And so now I'm taking those two. The area of those two must be equal to double the parking lot area, the original parking lot area. So the question then becomes, uh, what's this distance? Well, that's 75 plus X. And then what is this distance? That's the tricky one. So we can see here that it's all of these three combined. So if I combine all those three, I get the length of this side on the right here. So it's 165 plus 75 plus X. Well, we had this earlier. This is 240 plus X. Okay. So these two are my dimensions of my uh, first rectangular area of the expanded parking lot. And then, uh, let me switch back to green. Uh, so then also we need to figure out for this area right here, Okay, for this area right here. Uh, how long is this side? Well, we can see that clearly it's this section right here. It's 300. And how long is this side? Well, clearly that's just uh, 75 plus X. Okay, so I have those two rectangles. If I combine them, that must be equals to double the area of the original lot. So here's double the area of the original lot. 81,000 must be equals to, okay, so the first rectangle, this one here, I'm shading it again in green, uh, and that has the dimensions of 75 plus X times 300. And add that to the other uh, rectangle here. Let me switch to this purple, okay? So the area of this rectangle, okay, and we said that the dimensions there are 75 plus X at by 240 plus X. Okay. And so that's what we've got to work with. We've got to crank through this equation and solve it for X and then we've got the answer. All right. So uh, let's do that. Let me switch back to green. We just do all this in green. So 81,000 equals and distribute the 300 there, you get uh, 75 times 300, so 22,500 plus 300x, if I just distribute this in here, plus, and then distribute, uh, foil these two, I have to foil these two, so uh, 75 times 240 turns out to be 18,000, uh, and then that gives me plus 75x, plus 240x, so 75 plus 240, uh, what's that, 75 plus 240, that gives me 315x, okay, and then just x times x plus x squared. So it seems like we're making some kind of progress here, just, just keep doing the math, and these two combined, I believe, give you... 40,500, that's correct. So this is 40,500, okay? Plus, I've got a 300x and a 315x, that's 615x, plus an x squared, all right? 
And now we know that for, in order for us to solve a quadratic equation like this, we have to set it equals to zero and use the zero product property, which is what we learned in class. So I'm just going to subtract the 81,000 both sides to get it equal to zero. So zero is negative 40,500 as to what that turns out to be, uh, plus 615x plus x squared. Making good progress here, okay? And so what we need to do is just maybe rearrange this so it looks a bit more normal, more familiar. Uh, put the x squared in front, put the 615x next, and then subtract the 40,500, okay? Now the hard part here comes, we need to factor this. This is kind of tricky to factor, right? Uh, because the numbers are huge. Now we'll learn techniques for doing this on your calculator later, but uh, let's attempt to factor this. And I think what happens is if you factor this carefully, I've played with this on the calculator quite a bit. This is tough to do, all right? Don't feel bad if you can't do this easily. But uh, what you do is, I think you divide by 675 or something. Uh, 40,500 divided by 675. Yeah, if you divide this by 675, you get 60. All right, and it seems that 675 minus 60 also equals this. So this is 675 minus 60. That works, and this is 675 times 60 over here. So that's how we learned how to factor the simple quadratics with the coefficient of 1. So I do x plus 675 and x minus 60. All right. And you, you should always FOIL this stuff to verify. x times x is x squared. x times negative 60 is negative 60x. 675 times x is plus 675x. And 675 times negative 60 is negative 40,500. And so this is equal to this middle term here. So things worked out. Okay, we got it factored. So what this tells us is using the zero part property, that x plus 675 is 0 here, uh, or x minus 60 is 0 here. But we're dealing with distance, with length. x must be a length. Let's go back to our picture. x must be a length that we add. So we're not adding negative length, and this is what this turns out to be, negative 675. So this is not an actual option, an option for our answer because we're dealing with a real-world issue here, and it's distance. So x equals 60 seems to be the answer, okay? And that is, in fact, the answer that the textbook had up here, 60 feet, all right? So if I add 60 feet here, basically saying let x be 60 feet, and I add 60 feet here, let x here be 60 feet, okay? Then the dimension of the parking lot will get doubled, all right? That's a very tricky question. So. The final answer is 60 feet, right there. I hope this helped you guys.